Cardiovascular disease is a killer. You know that. We all do, don't we? In Australia, over 43,000 people die from cardiovascular disease each year. One person every 12 minutes. It has been our leading cause of death for more than 40 years. Yet, most of these deaths are preventable. And the cost is huge. Half a million people are hospitalised each year, costing us over $7 billion. But we know what to do. Live a healthy lifestyle. Eat well, stay active and keep a healthy weight. Don't smoke and don't drink too much. We've achieved a lot in 50 years. But something is wrong. The impact of our fantastic efforts in cardiovascular disease are slowing. Big declines in death rates since the 1960s are under threat, as evidence predicts these rates will rise again because we are living longer. As obesity and chronic disease rates skyrocket, more people will die, while others struggle for years with the distressing effects of the disease. It's a race against time. We won't win the race with our current approach. We must do things differently. But what? What do we want to achieve? And how do we get there effectively without risking our hard-fought gains? We need a better picture that brings us all closer to the heart of the problem so we can see and understand cardiovascular disease in new ways and invest to reduce its impact. What if, together, we could test the potential impact of different strategies and policies on cardiovascular disease in Australia? Like training in simulated race conditions before selecting our best combination of activities for the real world. Our own Coalition of the Willing. Well, we can. Thanks to systems modelling, which is at the heart of a dynamic new simulation tool for cardiovascular disease and allows us to test the impact of combinations of strategies on the disease over time. We can explore new approaches and build on our successes. The tool was created with help from over 25 Australian experts in cardiovascular disease and draws on extensive clinical and research evidence. Already, it tells us that in the next 20 years, twice as many people will die from cardiovascular disease and effective strategies for saving people's lives after a heart attack or stroke have unintended consequences. More people end up living with chronic cardiovascular disease, often in poor health and with a poor quality of life while increasing pressure on the health system. We must choose a path that saves lives and keeps Australians healthier if we're to reduce the preventable burden of cardiovascular disease. Our challenge is to select the best mix of actions, both within the health system, from prevention to acute care and beyond, like creating supportive environments that encourage people to exercise. Using the smartest, most dynamic tools available, we must come together to examine cardiovascular disease again. It's probably our best hope of winning the race, so we can... Be healthy, Australia!